you have no idea how much is about to happen. Like, we're about to explode. There's just been so many things that have happened where I have totally like made you guys lose trust in me. I'm just so excited because this collection is so beautiful. And we're just investing so much into it again. I just want it to be incredible. It just sucks. It's just like so much more than makeup, you know? It's my dream. Ugh, I'm so scared to launch this. It's okay. We wanna do everything that we can to make you feel as good as possible. At the end of the day, I have to rise up. I truly cannot believe how much I have learned. And I just, I have to get back to it. Okay guys, so Jaclyn Hill, if you see this up here, she just posted some major drama right now. She posted a clip that what seems to be part of the Jaclyn Hill documentary series. I can't wait. Let's talk because I feel like we need to talk. Okay, girl. This video is sponsored the house by adamandeve.com. Mm -hmm. If you use my code, you can save money and get discreet shipping. 50% off, girl. 50% off, off US and Canada. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I bought some stuff on there and it, oh my God, I got so many extra goodies. When you ordered, you get other goodies too, like add-ons? I did, I yeah. did. Check <laughs> Definitely check out Adam and Eve and use my code. I love them over there. I think you guys should watch this video. So Jaclyn Hill in this drama, I felt like it was very real. She came across very raw. She was crying. She only cried from the part that we saw. She oh, cried. Okay. She cried when she was talking about launching her new collection because I'm sure that was very overwhelming for her because considering how much the other one failed, this was her redeeming moment. Now, I have always said that this highlighter collection should have been her first collection that she came out with. I don't know what Yes, I agree. Is. Everyone said that, that she should have came out with the highlighters first. But do you, do you know, ja when you think of Jaclyn Hill and you think of her makeup, what do you think of? I think of highlighter. I think, I think of, of Morphe. Morphe palette. I, think <laughs> I think of codes being shielded across YouTube. <laughs> I think of, no. I think of her as her palette with Morphe, but I also think of highlighters. I yeah. don't know where lipsticks fit in the first time around. It was something new. She did, I feel like she wanted to do something new and try it out, but I agree with you 100%. I didn't want to, I, you want to come out with something that people know you for. Yeah. Right? That's what I was about yeah. to say. Like, if you came out with something, wouldn't you come out with something that's very on brand for you? Yeah. You it's almost like, like if, I, if I came out with a palette and it was all just like nudes and neutrals, yeah. people would be upset because I always talk about how boring they are. It's like coming out with a milkshake, but you're not a mukbang <laughs> channel. Here's my milkshake. You know, Emma Chamberlain just came out with coffee. I heard Jeez. some mukbang channels were coming out with noodles. They're on branded That's noodles. That's smart though. That's yeah. smart. I hope they're spicy noodles. The, the lipsticks, I, I feel for Jacqueline, but this shows that she's being holding herself accountable. And I think We could she, all do that. Yeah, we can all do that. I agree. I mean, and I kind of feel like this is good for her. I think that Jacqueline Hill was, uh, look, let me spill some tea, okay? okay? It is no secret that Jacqueline Hill is a millionaire. Is she? Yes, she is. No. Yes, she is. She Just rented, she she poop, she rented that off. house for what, 10 grand a night for that a whole entire ridiculous. month. Ridiculous. That was a stunt. It was a good stunt. It was a good stunt. And she threw girl. a party at it too. Secret queen, girl. And she flew in people. I'm telling you, she has coined the house, okay? Oh, yes. She was way up here, riding this high, and she came out with these lipsticks and it just went. And you know what's And then she like didn't address it. She didn't address it. She was very late to address it. Those very lipsticks, late. I still say, that was a very pretty collection. The packaging, packaging was in there. Packaging, yeah. But the colors, they were very pretty for a See, new I like the packaging. Jaclyn Hill invented nude lipsticks. She did. I've never seen a nude before <laughs> her. I have never, I've never seen a highlighter before either. <laughs> so Jaclyn is always on top of the trends. Yeah, I think she's great. Mm -hmm. So she, here she was, Ryan is high, the lipsticks came out and I feel like life has a way of knocking you down no matter where you're at in life. I, I know. You know, you think you're you're doing great, and it always it's like it's like we're watching a movie. Yeah, a person wins Grammys and Oscars, and then boom, something happens. It really knocked her down, though. It rocked her down, and then here she is, in this documentary film, crying, and she's taking us to Paris or Milan, and I'm just kind of excited for what she has next. But then, go ahead. I was gonna say thank God, because you remember when she came out with her lipsticks? She, they were kind of like behind the scenes photos. She was in the lab. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she was in the mm -hmm. lab with those gloves. And now I feel like she's gonna show us the full like thing. Like she showed being in Milan, which is where she says that one of her um, highlighters is pressed from, the palettes, I believe it's the yeah. palettes that are pressed by. Yeah. 
And I think it's gonna be exciting. I think that this is what she should have done the first time around to show the whole process, but not lie about it and pretend that you're in the lab for more If she would have done this in the beginning, it would have been a lot better for her. If Kinda, she would have been the lab girl, there wouldn't have been hairs in those lips. Yeah, uh, Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star. Mm -hmm. They showed us the process and it was well received. Jaclyn Hill should have did the same. She should have done the same, but mm -hmm. and it would have sold out no matter what. But. The lipsticks were the bad. What do you think she would come out with next? Oh, um, I think she might do her own palette. With Morphe? For the eyes. No, I think that there is gonna be another Morphe collaboration, of yeah. course, because that's a cash cow for Morphe that is well known. Mm -hmm. um, but I think she will come out with her own eyeshadow palette. It'll be the more Jaclyn experience, yeah. which is going to be something gaudy. There was a time when Jaclyn Hill was the number one Morphe affiliate. Is she not anymore? Not anymore. Maybe James? James, James came and then Jeffrey came with the use my code going to charity, remember? But you never really hear James push Morphe unless it's his palette mm -hmm. that comes out. Jacqueline's always like, this concealer that I swear I've been this using for a year. Yeah. Like, yeah. Jacqueline really shows that out. But a lot of people get on her for that. And I'm like, if you're making coin, girl. She needs to, I feel like she needs to address it and be like, hey, look, this is how I make my money. But girl, may, maybe there's a lot of ego involved that they don't want to say that. I feel like there, I feel, my opinion, with mm -hmm. a lot of beauty gurus, there's a lot of pride and ego oh. that come into play. What gave you that impression? Because they don't ever want to come on camera and address stuff immediately. They want to wait it out. Because they think it's going to pass. Or sometimes they don't even address it at all. Yeah, or anything. Nikita. They just don't, or, mm -hmm. or, or if they do, it's like, ah, oh, it wasn't really good enough, but I get it, you know? I, I mean, just the act of apologizing, some people don't even apologize. But you know what's very annoying about Jacqueline, what gets her in a lot of trouble, is she doesn't come onto YouTube, which is where she got her start, which is on YouTube. Mm -hmm. She built the fan base. She does not come on there unless she has something to sell. Like she's in a lot of drama right now because she's not disclosing affiliate links. I didn't know anything about all. that. Yeah, it's like the new drama, like people are like covering and everything. Because her and Laura Lee, they always do, you know, like our style, mm -hmm. those links that you can get. Yeah. They always put it under their videos and technically you're supposed to put like, Hey, I get a proceed or something from See, it. See, sometimes I just put, you know, this video is sponsored, mm -hmm. and then, or, and here's a link, I get a little taco money, or something like that. Yeah. Oh, we're getting more receipts oh, that are coming Jacqueline in. Hill? Jacqueline Hill? Jacqueline Hill is calling in. Let's, Let's put her on the line. Let's yeah. put her on the line. Yeah. Uh, what? Hello? Hello? You're offended that we're speaking? Uh, this is free speech. Yeah, documentary is canceled. This is free speech. And you know what? I, I hope... Will you watch the documentary if she drops it? Of course, I'm a yes. drama channel, girl. She she hopefully it's soon so we can do an after show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully it's soon. Oh Here's my God. Point. I think she, I think, look, this is what happens sometimes. I think she put it, this, she's putting this mm. out there. See the response. Push, but post she, the video, yeah. Jacqueline. Post this documentary because I'm telling you, outside looking in, people want to love you. They do. No, they do. People want to care and want to love her. And what if it's not a documentary and it was just that clip? Well, I'm good. And she, <laughs> like maybe it was just the clip and she's like, you know what? I had a successful launch. Congratulations to Jacqueline. I still I love those highlighters. Yeah. Love the setting powder, all that kind of stuff. Maybe she's drumming up her next launch. Oh, Valentine's Day. But you know tomorrow. what? It's funny how this comes up right after uh, the, the video that Shane Dawson put out with Jeffree Star saying, mm. why does all her stuff fail? And then boom, this comes out. Maybe she wasn't planning. Maybe she documented the whole thing just for herself and to have it on the back burner. But then she's like, they talked about it. And now people are bringing that up again. Maybe I need to drop something about it. Smart on her do half. Do you think Shane should get involved? No. <laughs> like to do a series on her? Yeah. No. Oh my God. I don't. Um, I think that that would just be overkill of it because Jacqueline is, I will say it, is known for lying a lot. <laughs> and there's many things she's been caught in a lie about. Uh, so I don't know if you can really sit down and watch a documentary that someone's putting on without yeah. feeling a certain type of way about it. Okay. Well, I'm excited for the film. I hope she comes out with it. But what y'all guys are the ones who make stuff trending on number one. Mm -hmm. So will you guys watch it? Do you care? Are you over it? It will trend. Um, I think is I think that it showed a side of her that I haven't I haven't seen. I, it was real and it was raw, and I like that. I think people like that. What? But. I'm kind of like, was she really crying? Me? No, because that's like, a, like I kind of feel no, like- Make your truth. I, mean, I yeah. do feel like Jacqueline would put that on for like a show. I mean, I'm sure it was very overwhelming coming out with this collection as they said before. Yeah. But I feel like Jacqueline would up it. Yeah. So it's like, oh, it's so dramatic. Oh my God. I, yeah. 
I, I like Jacqueline though. Yeah. I do like Jacqueline. We wish I'm, one the the, best, I'm one of the best. I'm one of the few. Yeah. And so. Jacqueline, if you're watching, please unblock me. Yeah. I, you know, I have to go to different links to get tea <laughs> from freaking Instagram. I do. She has not blocked me on Twitter, Jacqueline. Don't you do that? Yeah. Don't you. So everyone wants to know our thoughts on Aja and the Queen. Ooh. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go over my thoughts on it. I feel like um, where do I even start? First of all, I'm happy that somebody in the LGBTQ community has a show on Netflix. Let's just start there, okay? Just no one else. No, I'm just saying we need more of that. Oh yeah. There's people who say we need more. We need more yeah. LGB LGBTQ stuff out in the world, and then mm. and then they get the more, and they're like, well, it was horrible. Yeah. It sucks. Oh, they'll pick it apart. They pick it apart. So I'm like, look, whether you like it or not. Just leave a positive comment because we need more of stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I mean, but when have you not known the gay community to be shady and tear people down? Oh, I mean, it's they just, always will. It's always will. That's the way it is. That's us. <laughs> That's us. Now, it was a show that I definitely thought that I was not going to be that into because I am not the big yeah. RuPaul fan. Yeah. But, and not for any reason, I just, I don't get the hype behind RuPaul, you know, it's whatever. But I really enjoyed the series. I enjoyed and I can't too. wait for season two. But, okay, I enjoyed it and... Since we're talking about it, mm -hmm. I, it's funny to me seeing Ru, what's, what, what, what RuPaul, 50, 60? No, something like that? More 55? Let's just, let's just say Ru, RuPaul is up in age, it's like yeah. 50 years old, okay? Better than that, 50 years old. To live in that time with I, the club kids. Yeah, I don't see it. <laughs> it's a good script, but I feel like um, it, I just didn't see the connect of RuPaul still being 50 years old, living in Queens, New York, in a one bedroom apartment, still doing drag. But he wasn't playing RuPaul. He's playing another person. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't really, I don't really know that many 50 year old rap are still living in New York City performing every night at the gig. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's like Sherry Vine. I yeah. I believe that she's up there in age. She's like famous in New York. Exactly. She's, yeah, man. Yeah. It's just, it's just funny to see RuPaul in those situations. Cause it's like, you know, she doesn't like any of the queens. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like. It's like, what's, what's her name? Yeah. What season were you on? Like, Ru, I was the winner. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, I think the only one she likes is pork chop. Yeah, probably. But she yeah. probably remembers that yeah. one. But anyways, it was a great show. Um, I, I would say uplift it because I want to see more of that in the future. So try to, you know, people, every, any, anytime anything comes out, people always want to tear it to shreds and hate on it at first. Um, but I think this is something that should be celebrated and stuff. So that's all. I agree. Yeah. Okay, guys. So we're going to let you go. If you enjoyed Nick, I'll put his links down below. Thank Definitely you. check him out. Leave, give the video a like, a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.